Oh, there's a, a lantern that we can not pick. What? Let's play The Lighthouse. Hello and welcome to a new play short in your horror games. And today I'm going to play a super short horror game called The Lighthouse. It's inspired by the movie The Lighthouse, which I did not watch. I'm sorry. I read so many interviews by Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe that I really... I don't know, man. I don't want to watch this movie. It sounds so exhausting. Ugh. So anyways, but yeah, this. Th so if you watch that movie, maybe you will enjoy this game all the more. I mainly play it because I kind of love lighthouse settings and I've played quite a few in the last couple of months. So I, I thought, well, this is kind of on brand for me now. You know, it seems like I will be like the lighthouse gal. Um, so <laughs> let's do this. Let's see what horrors await and, you know, who will method act their way to unspeakable horrors. Damn, it's loud. Oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, the key is not in his room. I have to search on his body. How do I move? Wait, how okay. Oh, normal. Blam. This looks really nice, by the way. And the sound is also really cool. So I have to I have to look for a key, I guess. So the is this door closed? Yeah. I have to look better on his body. Wait, I have a corpse hidden here somewhere. What? Nothing is interactable here. This looks super cozy, by the way. This is like a really nice setup. This is very. That's really atmospheric. Okay. Blap. Can a lighthouse make the sound? Honestly, I don't know enough about lighthouses. To... Oh, there's a, a lantern that we can not pick. What? Can I crouch? No. I would not go out in this weather. We had this weather in Germany a couple of days ago. Like, the whole of Europe, basically. And, uh... No, we did not go out. Huh. Is that a sound inside of here? I don't know. So many lanterns, and I'm not allowed to take any of them. So, oh, let's go... D d well, do we go up... No, let's go... <laughs> let's go down. <laughs> I wanna... Oh, I can't run. Sorry, that's... It's really... Also, to be on an island with this kind of weather would scare the shit out of me. Like, I have those romantic notions of being stuck on an island like this and writing a novel, you know, as you do. But I think in... Oh! That's a face! I hate it. Oh my god. I hate it. Oh my god. <gasps> Was that a dolphin with a human head? Again, I have not seen the movie. If this is part of the movie and everyone's like, duh, of course. <laughs> I have not seen a movie. But maybe I will after playing this game. Um, but yeah, in real life, if I would be on a house like, uh, on an island like this, with weather like this, I would be so scared all the time. Like, you know, I don't know if you've seen those, those uh, videos, but how fast a gigantic monster wave can just develop on the sea is mind-bogglingly terrifying. I take my time. I'm sorry, that's how I play games. I get distracted easily. I take my time. I don't think things through, though, so that's the great dissonance. <laughs> um, and I ramble all the time. Okay, is this something I need? Really not? So many lanterns. Okay, let's... Oh my god, this is... Okay. Ooh, this is so... Steep. And you have to be, like, very skinny. Oh my god, okay. 
The fucking key. Yeah, but I didn't find his body. The fucking key. Where was the body? So this game is supposedly five minutes long. <laughs> no. And not when I play this. I really like the the audio. Like the thunder is appropriately scary because it's a little bit too rumbly. <laughs> it, you know, it's not quite natural sounding. It sounds more like there's actual stuff like being, I don't know, shoved down the stairs or something. Do I have to go? Oh, here's the body. Okay, no, no, I need the... Oh, I got the key. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> See ya, dude. So, did I kill that person? Man, it's fun to play a game that's based on a movie I didn't watch. That's just... So the other two games I played, they all had the lighthouse. Both of them had a grumpy old man, which we didn't have. Or maybe we do have, but in this case, he's dead. Um... One of them had hail as well. And the two of them had tasks to do that I didn't have to do in this game. They probably were all inspired by the Lighthouse movie. Um, wow, this is... Very... Oh, there. Is this a face? Is this going to be a face? Is it? Is this the end? Yes, it is! This was super neat! You know what? It actually was so neat that now I'm kind of interested in the movie. <laughs> so here's the thing, I read about it, like, I'm <clears throat> per se artistic black and white movies. <sighs> I don't know. Because I have this thing, you know, back in the days they did black and white movies because they could not do, you know, movies in color because they were, that was not possible and or it was too expensive. The same goes with black and white photography. And for the most part, there are exceptions, of course. I always feel like people who want to add an artistic edge to something by doing photos or movies in black and white they kind of misunderstand that the artists back then didn't do it for artistic purposes, but because they didn't have the money <laughs> or they didn't have the means to do it in color. Um, and also reading about the method acting of Robert Pattinson put me off so much. And also I thought of Willem Dafoe's, you know, in, in Antichrist, which I really, I don't I hate that movie. I really don't like it. Where it's... Uh, I don't know. I think I don't like horror movies that try too hard. And The Lighthouse always, like everything I read about it felt like it would feel like that to me. Just even, you know, it's, it's a personal thing. Um, I know Antichrist is beloved by a lot of people. I don't. On the other hand, I do like Ari Aster movies because I don't think that they try hard. I think they're very story based and not, you know, let me show you my artistic vision. So, but this game actually did such a great job in um, making me interested in the in the movie, you know, especially with the Dolphin Man. That's something I want to see. That I might watch it. So, thank you, um, Giacomo Giunti. Uh, this was really neat experience. Like I loved it. Also, for a short game like this, and I love this. Um, the environment looked really good. I like the effect, the black and white effect. It was um, slightly different 
than I'm used to in black and white indie horror games, but it was a really cool effect. Like, I think the attention to detail in the sound um, and also like the environment, like the whole hut, you know, man, that was like a full, that looked like a hut where people live in. Because, you know, usually a lot in indie horror games, you have like a bed, a table, one image, one weird painting that doesn't fit on the wall and that's it. And this one really felt like an, an actual lived-in environment and it was really cool. And uh, I think the scares, to be quite honest, the ending is probably more scary if you know the movie. Uh, but, but that dolphin face, man, that really was amazing. I love this. This was like a moment I did not expect it and I loved it all the more because I don't know what the heck is going on there. <laughs> So yeah, amazing game. I will follow you on itch. Also, I will put the link to the game in the download, uh, in the in the liner notes, so you can play this yourself, dear viewers. Thank you for, you know, accompanying me to probably I don't know. This seemed like you know the destruction of the world, or at least the island. So thank you for being there with me till the end. Also, if you're new to this channel, you know you, you can you can subscribe, and I promise you. If I just die on an island with you, I will make sure that the key to the lighthouse is on the table in the hut. That you don't have to rummage through my corpse, you know, because... Ugh, and in that storm, that's like... Ugh, ugh. So, subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a wonderful day. And maybe see you soon. Bye!